Hi, I'm going to show you Universal Email, the WebAssist Streamover extension for applying email functionality to your PHP websites. Universal Email can be used for a variety of different applications, including contact forms, sending email receipts from your online store, as well as things such as user registration or even bulk emailing to your community. So for this demonstration, I'm going to apply Universal Email to this contact form that I've already created. You could create your own contact form by just applying the necessary form elements to your PHP page, but I've actually used CSS Form Builder, which is Dreamweaver, which is the Dreamweaver extension by WebAssist for creating PHP forms. Now that I've got my form created, I'm going to open up Universal Email. And today I'm using Universal Email 4, which is the newest version of the extension, and it's a much easier interface that you can very quickly apply the functionality that you need without having to go through too, much, too many steps. It, here's a quick insert interface for Universal Email 4. Most of the functionality that you'll need to apply email functionality to your page is going to be found right here. So I'm going to go ahead and start applying this to my, to my contact form. First thing I'm going to do is specify the trigger, which is going to tell it that when the submit button is pressed on my contact form, to send the email. Also, the, for the go to page, which is going to be the page that is clicked on after clicking submit, I'm going to choose the thank you page that I've already created. So in the from field, I'm now going to specify where I want the email to appear to have come from. And I'm just going to enter contact at webassist.com. And that's a fake email address that I'm creating so that I can define, where, so that it's easy for me to keep track of where these emails that are coming from, from this contact form are. Now in the to field, I'm going to specify the email address I want them to come to. And you probably notice I'm just entering static email addresses. You can also specify dynamic in email addresses from record sets or from what's in, or from a file field that's already entered on your form uh, by just clicking on these lightning bolts. And in the subject field, I'm just going to enter a static subject. Now that's the bare bones of my email functionality. I could actually click finish now and the email will send to the email address that we specified. But I'm going, to have a, I'm going to show you how you can also apply a few other settings. One thing about Universal Email 4 is it incorporates all of the file management functionality of Digital File Pro. So this, this extension actually has two extensions in one. One of the reasons for integrating this file manipulation functionality into Universal Email is so that you can easily have somebody specify in their form a file that they want to also be attached to the email. This is functionality that used to require a lot more extra work. So as you may not, you might notice from my content form, I have this browse field. So I'm going to click the attachment icon, which is right here, and it's going to open the interface for managing my attachments. And in this interface, you can specify all the attachments that you want to be included in the in the form. You can specify static attachments. You can choose attachments that will be drawn from a record set, or new to Universal Email 4, you can specify a submitted file, which looks at your form that you currently have open to see if there's any file fields, and, it's, and that way you can specify that when somebody selects a file for that file field, it'll be attached to the email that is sent. So I'm just going to choose that file field and click OK. Now another thing to mention is that Universal Email has detected that I have this form open in, in Dreamweaver. It assumes that the content that's entered into the form is going to be what I want sent in the email. So it's automatically doing all the hard work so that the contents of the form are added to the email. So another new feature is this create a file for your email option. Universal Email 4 comes with four different designs that you can choose from to make it easy for you to define the look and feel for the email that you want sent. You can actually just choose one of these and then easily modify it later to look however you want. So and lastly, I want to highlight some of the new features in Universal Email for sending emails to multiple addresses. In this interface for defining the two options, you can specify a large number of static email addresses to be included on the email. You can choose email addresses from a record set loop so it sends to all the email addresses listed in your database. And new to Universal Email 4, you can even specify a file that contains email addresses and email straight from the, the emails in that file. Additionally, a, a feature that's going to be very useful to those with very large email lists and want to send emails to their entire community, you, we have introduced email limits which allow you to try to bypass the host and provider limitations on how many emails can be sent between a certain period of time or how many emails can be sent throughout the day. It's important to note that this will not always work for all hosting providers as some hosting providers have much more stringent rules on how many emails can be sent 
I would check with your host provider to see if their settings work for what you're trying to achieve with your email list before you try to use this feature. So now that I've configured everything, I'm going to click Finish and apply Universal Email to this page. And once Universal Email has been applied, the page that you specified to be emailed will open. Now you'll notice these PHP bindings to find, denote where content is going to be inserted for from my form. You could also enter any static information that you want. So all there is left to do now is upload the form to my site and check it and give it a try. And once all the files have finished uploading, here's my form on my live server for me to test out. I'm going to go ahead and fill out the details. I'm going to choose the file I want to attach. complete the security questions and click submit to send the email and now that it's sent the email it automatically redirects to my thank you page and almost instantly the email just has arrived in my inbox with the information I entered into my fields and the attachment included so that's about it for universal email but it includes all the email functionality you would need to apply to your PHP website it also includes the file manipulation features found in Digital File Pro so that you can easily up apply upload functionality, download functionality, as well as the ability to delete or rename files that are on your server. And you can buy Universal Email a la carte, or, and it's also included in SuperSuite, our complete collection of Dreamweaver extensions, as well as for us on a subscription basis you can, get, you can get this product from the WebAssist extension library. Thank you for watching this feature tour. To learn more about Universal Email or other Dreamweaver extensions or PHP solutions, check us out at WebAssist.com. Thank you.